I didn't plug in last night. Hello, friends. So I got to plug in now. I'm only 38%. So I just won't be. I got three of these in the mail. Woo! And my license. My driver's license. Five years. Yeah, so let's do... Oh, a dollar and twelve cents coupon he got from fifty dollars worth of gas. So take take a dollar and twelve cents off of fifty, and that's what we saved. The gas is now one point five six two times that by three times seventy eight eighty seven. I don't know what it is. It's almost four anyway. Ashley! <laughs> Woo! The mail came! I gotta get my food in my dish first. Yeah, so. Oh, my tea! Also, gotta do my. <laughs> it's non alcoholic Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, and Richie didn't get the table in. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. Well, I do know some what he was doing after dark. Did you see Michelle gave you a mention? I get yes, I did. I already commented and thanked her and Okay. I got the kettle on again. I, I put it on once after I got here, but I forgot my black phone down on the, on a stump by the wood pile because I was working in the wood. Hey! Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to get my food out here and See what he cooked up. For my brunch today. No. All right, that's it. That's that's the end of that. I got potatoes and carrots and turnip. Oh, I hate this. Chair there. And the uh, the new table is even longer this way, so that, I don't know what he's going to do with that rocking chair there. What kind of a mess is this? This is I'll eat a couple of onions. Oh He said he wasn't gonna eat the grapefruit. I said I'm not gonna ask you to peel grapefruit if it's gonna make you wanna eat them. Oh no, I won't eat them. I won't eat any. But he did. He ate some. It's gone. And he was going to make a soup. But he didn't use any of the juice. The broth. The whole thing fell down inside there. Okay, Callie.
I'm getting peed off. Really, I am. He's got all the glass dishes filled up with those condiments, so I got nothing to put anything in. I'm going to heat this up and drink it. It's a good thing it's non-alcoholic. Everything's just fallen. I fixed it all. I'm going to fix it. Sorry for a tantrum, you guys, but I'm sure day in and day out it might aggravate you guys, too. Chopping up onions. I like my onions to have a little crunch to them, but these are all, these are all mushy. Now you can't see what I'm doing. I can't have that tea bag under my nose. some carrots and turnips. There's no cabbage. The cabbage is all gone. Well, there it is. My potluck is ready. I need a big swig. I'll have to check for our comments after because my hands are dirty. I can't see. And I'm all grumped up. <laughs> if you can tell. Probably scare everybody. Well, there's no new people here for me to scare. <laughs> Been enough scaring my old, my old faithfuls. Well, that'll be enough turn up. Now let's see what we got over here. Oh. Oh, uh, Richie. Don't burn your mouth. Who said that? Oh, Ashley. I'll try not to. Yeah, I know. I always burn my mouth. I always... I don't think he took any of these here. I told him they were here, so if he didn't take them, well, too bad. You snooze, you lose. Right, friends? That's what happens to me. I snooze, I lose. It got too hot and muggy out there. I, I worked out there. Well, I was an hour on my feet, I'll put it that way. I can't believe he ate the grapefruit. I can't either. Because that's the last thing he said. No, it won't make me want to eat it. I wouldn't care if it wasn't for the health 
issue part of it. It's not that I'm being mean with my grapefruit and don't want to share. I went, oh geez, 20 years without eating the grapefruit because I thought that I couldn't eat grapefruit with a lot high blood pressure and come to find out it was high cholesterol. And I never had high cholesterol. So, yeah, these carrots are done so nice and perfect, bitchy. Yeah, I know, and there was an orange right there for him to eat. And, yeah. So, yeah, I went to sleep. I woke up again at just after 1. I was awake for a couple of hours. No, actually, it was after 4 o'clock when I got back to sleep. Looked at the clock the last time. And uh, some people say, well, take your clock out of your, your room. Well, I can't go to sleep. That would make me even more anxious. And Well, not that I'm anxious, but I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. I have a thing that I have to look at clocks. <laughs> I have to, I have to see the time. So, yeah. So that's not an option for me. Let's take my clock out. All right. Now, what else is that? That's it for this Oh, I'm going to do some onions. I'm going to rinse my hand off here. Kelly's gone. Oh, she's walking around in the living room. Good girl. I don't know if you'll be able to see her or not. I think you can. I'm going to put this in the... Yeah, there she is. I'm going to put this in the oven. Be right there. BRB. Five minutes before time to eat, but I gotta get my water. Put these carrots back in the fridge. Put too much? Hope not. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen this top or not, but I put the little scarf pin here. Like you can put them anywhere. You can use a hair elastic or you can use a round bangle. Uh, one girl used a bangle. Uh, yeah, so let's have a swig. Non alcoholic Thirsty Thursday. Mmm. Yep, that's good. That's just good. Yeah, I found the receipt, Ashley, for the, for those, uh, blue, the blue camos. I think I would like to get them if I can get them in the extra large with the high waist. I have to have a high waist. I can't have the low low waist. No. Even though I'm short. Oh, I gotta get my pot liquor. That's what's beeping. Oh, she's she's out here now. She's out here now, but you can't see her. She's over here on the cardboard. Or like oh, going in the wrong direction. I'm gonna put this in soak. It only had uh, turnip in it, but.
pot liquor. Okay, so I'm breaking my fast. I can't believe he ate the grapefruit. I wonder if he brought it to work thinking it was the orange. Ah, uh, no. No, because this container was full. And now it's not. But that was a good idea. It would it would be something that could happen. It's something that could happen very easily. Ashley, I appreciate the thought. He's grounded. Yeah, he's going to be grounded all right. <laughs> yeah. Wait until he gets home today. <laughs> I'll be gone. I won't be here. I'll be over there waiting for a lot of supper. <laughs> oh, pot liquor. Cheers. Ah, screenshot. Cheers. Non-alcoholic thirsty Thursday. Yum. I could have had it a little bit warmer, but I got the other oven on now, so I can't turn the microwave on. Cheers. <coughs> that was a big gulp. A big gulp. Let's get a knife and open mail. We can open mail. That's what I can do. Let's open my license first. See if I get to drive for another five years. Oh dear, they used my other mug shot. Does that even look like me now? I look like some kind of a convict. <laughs> well, we always said they look like mug shots. Well, I'll take it off the paper. Please destroy your old license or photo ID. Along with the temporary document. This was good until... Uh, I think the 25th. Uh, the, my temporary paper. No, I don't have to sign it anywhere. There's no place to sign it. Oh, she's over there on that. They won't believe that's you anymore. <laughs> Does that even look like me? No, I take the glasses off. I can't take the hat off because the hair is bad. It's a bad hair day. I know, I look like some kind of a... Oh, there's my signature on the front. It's good. It expires the fifth day of the sixth month, 2028. 2028. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's sitting this way, looking this way this time, you guys. <laughs> Golly, look at the friends. Oh, what a good girl. <laughs> Ready to rob a bank. Yeah, well, my friend, uh, he's uh, environmentally sensitive like me, and he would go with his mask on, his mask so he wouldn't breathe in smells. 
and he was standing outside the liquor store and they would bring him what he would call up and order it and they would bring it out to him yeah and he would stand there and we i used to joke him you look like you're getting ready to rob the place that was uh, before the pandemic way before the pandemic so yeah that's a cool picture isn't it with the cat and my uh, red decor <laughs> my new license <laughs> Another purple tank top. I still don't like it this big. I might take them in. I might take them in if I ever... Well, tomorrow's so, so Friday, but I never ever get to sew anything. All right. Okay, that's... Please destroy... Okay, this is no good. I'll leave it on here, though. Richard can write notes on it. It can be a notepad. And it smells a little bit, but not big. Big. I'll rip this off of here. This is another birthday card. Oh, what a beautiful picture. Thank you, John. Oh, look, she's on my chair now. She's on my new chair, Al. Screenshot. Homestead Kitty. Have a wonderful day. He forgets to sign it. He remembers to send me one, but he forgets to write in it. Oh, John. I used to write to him when he was in prison. I know. I was one of those. Prison pen pal girl. He lives in Pittsburgh. Thank you, John. Now let's see. Vicky. Oh. I don't know if she's going to see this. She might see it, uh, the replay, when I put it on Facebook. One day, a couple years ago, well, it was right after the pandemic locked down. This car stopped at the end of the driveway and this man and woman started walking up and and they started talking. They said, uh, we watch your YouTube. <laughs> we love watching your YouTube. And uh, I said, well, I can't, I, we don't uh, hug or shake hands or anything. No, no, that's all right. Anyway, and they talked and talked and talked. Anyway, and, and now her daughter comes on here. Hi, NJ. In here in our chat. But they've been dealing with the fire, so that's, yeah. She wasn't even sure if the mail was getting through from the Yarmouth side. So, thinking of you on your birthday, look. Oh, don't you just love presents? I wouldn't answer the door if anyone showed up here. No, we were outdoors. We were standing outdoors on the hill here, working in the wood. Anyway, <gasps> Vicky, no way. Oh, oh, Vicky. I wonder if that's for a mukbang at Sobeys. I know people don't have, I don't, don't feel obligated to send me anything, but you know, I love it. <laughs> and I know people are thankful that. I share what I do and it, it helps some people so they they like to and then some people like to give gifts like Ashley likes to get look at these beautiful guess where and I'm wearing these for the not the first time but when will I be wearing these on our beach day I love them I should take them off and put them on now 
Can they go with purple? Can I wear this with purple, you guys? Can I wear these with purple? Yes, of course I can. Oh, comes the mushrooms, Lori. But love them. Love those little mushroomers. And every time you cook mushrooms, you make me want to go to the store and get some. Fresh ones. They're so expensive. And by the time I get home, they're pretty... Oh, look at that. Vicky. Oh, my goodness. Look, NJ. I wonder if you helped her. It was with her when she picked them out. This is so exciting. Oh, no. This isn't going to be for a mukbang. No, I'll buy myself something for my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll buy myself something. I'll buy myself leggings or a top or something. Yeah, that's not a mukbang. No way. This isn't for me and Richard. This is me. Ooh, wait until he sees that. And I gotta take all my American money and I gotta exchange it so that I can... Um, yeah, Dale and Vicky. This comes with warmest thoughts of you and very best wishes too. For every happiness on your birthday and all year through. Happy birthday. Oh, it's from Dale, Vicky, and Norma J. Norma, oh, yeah. Yeah, if I get the right sale, I can get a piece, one of each. Ashley. Ashley's so smart. She'll take me to the place where I can get one of each. Well, these here leggings were only $9 at uh, Walmart. So, yeah, I could get a top and a bottom. Thank you, you guys. Oh, my goodness. That's so generous. I, I can't. Uh, all the generosity is just it's overwhelming. Overwhelming. Oh, I forgot something, you guys. I forgot something. Oh, I'm so forgetful. Oh, she turned around on the chair. Just a second. I'll be right there. Or a minute, I should say. Not a second, because a second's up. <laughs> I should be I should have had this on because I'm ra unwrapping Prezzies it's still my birthday Woo! June 15th it's still my birthday 10 days later oh I'm so silly what a silly old girl somebody said oh I was watching Missy Moo last night and she said 40 is the did she say 40 or 50 is the new 30? I said 70 is the new 30. Birthday month continues. I know, I know. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is so delicious. Can't stop guzzling it. Now, this one here is from my Richie's mom, my mother-in-law. Yeah. She was displaced during the, the fire, too. She had just moved in her assisted living place, and they were evacuated. But she went down to uh, Richard's older sister. She didn't go to Liverpool or, or Lunenburg, wherever they sent them to. This was sent... Must have been on the fifth. We what we wanted most in a daughter in law was someone who would be a good wife. Hello, Mr. India. Thank you. Yes. Uh, my birthday was the fifth, but I'm still celebrating. This one is from my mom in law, Richard's mom. She turned ninety in February, February fourteenth. And a couple of view, uh, viewer friends, three viewer friends, sent me these. I don't know if you were watching when when this was happening or not, but uh, and this here, so I'm going to buy myself a pair of leggings and a top. And uh, 
what we wanted most in a daughter-in-law was someone who would be a good wife and partner for our son. But with you, we got a lot more. Look at this beautiful flower. Oh, more money falling out. There's another piece of clothes, Ashley. We got someone we respect and someone we love. We got someone who makes us happy just by being herself. Happy birthday. Love from uh, Laura. That's her mom, Laura. I call her mom, Laura. Aww. Another piece of money. I'm rolling in dough. Walmart, here we come. Right, Ashley? Ashley's going to take me, well, be with me at Walmart. That's... So now I got shopping spree because I got that other uh, American money. I gotta, I gotta cash that in though. Are banks open in Bridgewater on Saturday? Oh no, it's not going to be Saturday. It's going to be the twenty second. It's a Thursday. Ooh, I can hardly wait. That's only a week from today. Whew. It's only a week from today, Ashley. Whew. Oh, yeah. But we have to play it by ear. Okay, don't get so excited, pat pat Patty Pop. Potato Patty Pop. That's a pretty stamp. How much is a stamp now? It doesn't say. Yeah. Anyway. I don't need that address because that's not where mom gets her mail now. Whoa. I'm just so excitable. Uh, let's see. I don't. I, I'm going to take my money because I'm going to take my money and my license. But let's put the cards in here. There she is. On my antique chair my friend gave me the other day. Because her husband used to sit in it. In the shed. And now I'm going to sit in it in the shed. Okay, so now let's... Let's put some stuff up here. Oh! Oh, my mushroom fell down. <laughs> I gotta find my mushroom, you guys. These are just uh, envelopes, so with the addresses on them. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, take my, my money and have it in my purse. Come here, little mushroom. Mushroom tried to get away, uh, uh, Lori. Where can I set that? That'll sit there. If I forget earrings someday, I got mushrooms to eat. Where? Mushrooms to eat. Mushrooms to wear over here. Oh, look at her. You like my new chair, do you? Mm -mm. Okay. It's almost time for my food. It's almost time for my food. Now, each one of these is worth $13 and something. So, instead of $20, I'm going to have 26 something. 26, 46, 56. Woo! At least five pieces of clothes. 
I wish I had a pocket in my leggings. Some leggings do have pockets. I see on uh, hauls that I watch on uh, YouTube hauls. <laughs> oh, Vicki and Norma. I, Jean, I love these. You know something? When I was going to guess your name, I was going to guess Norma Jean. That's no lie. That's the truth. <laughs> Whew, too cold to do that. All right, this money smells, so I'm going to take that out from under my nose. Let's go get my food. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be right there. Potatoes, turnips, carrots, onions, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> uh, what do you call that? Uh, screenshot! <sighs> Heavy and it's getting hot through the pot holders. They don't make them thick like they used to years ago. No, they don't. Oh, I gotta fill this up with water before I go home. These are just papers to be burnt. So, now let's, I didn't put the onions in. Oh, I already got onions, that's all right. Duh, doing, let's see if there's any, if I'm missing any comments. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, I, actually, I don't answer the door really either. I open the window because it's right there by the door. I open the window and I scare the person. I was like, "Hello, <laughs> what do you want?" No, I don't say that. But oh, you didn't see me do that. Oh well. Oh well. Seems like instead of getting to be a better muckbanger, I'm getting to be worse. I'll stand up so I can mingle and marry. Whoa! What a mess. What a mess. Let's try to mingle and marry in that pepper for one thing. Okay, what a mess <laughs> on the table. I got them all. Shopping spree. Yeah, that table is, it's not as <coughs> wide <coughs> this way, which will be good, but it's longer this way. So. I don't know what he's going to do with this chair. Yeah. There's no place to put it. The house is full. 
Unless he puts it up in the bedroom. The first small bedroom. Oh! I can't do the get to know me thing because the my phone's down there. By the wood pile. And I was working in the wood before I come up here. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. What, you're just going to uh, type in the question and I'll answer it? Okay. Okay, good. Do you know where we left off? I don't think there was that many left. And I was going to add more to it, and I just didn't get around to it last night. <laughs> They'll think you've got all the questions. <laughs> Ready? Ready when you are. Yippee. Well, I was on, um, watching Missy Moo last night live, and someone was in there, and she showed it me right out. I said, oh, pa Potato Patty, too mad. Everybody should watch her. She's in her 70s and she looks like she's 50. And and she can do this and that. And and uh, she lost the weight and she eats healthy. And and one person said, oh, I'm going to sub. So I don't know if they did or not. I must have. How would you describe your fashion sense? Fashion sense. Uh bright <laughs> bright and flamboyant what's the flamboyant mean that's all right this time colorful and youthful <laughs> skimpy <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> My favorite book. I would have to say my Bible. What are your hobbies? Working in the wood pile. Cats. Can cats cats be a hobby? Did I just spit on myself? <laughs> uh pink? <laughs> pink, purple. Turquoise. I like them all. Red. Red's supposed to be right up there.
green. Well, before I quit coffee in 1997, I just drank yeah, my own coffee. I, we never went to Tim Hortons or anywhere to buy coffee. It was just, just what we made at home. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just made my own black coffee. Dream job as a kid. I was going to skip that one, Ashley. <laughs> you remember the answer, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to tell 800 people. Okay, my phone. I have an LG. Uh... Think Q8 or whatever it's called, dual screens, and my new one is uh, Samsung Samsung 21 FE 5G. One. I was a little bit into the United States, into Maine, once. I, I'm going to take this off. It's making my hat heavy and. Um, and it's making me, you wouldn't believe it, but a little bit sweaty, so. Okay. Uh, what was that? Sib siblings. I have a brother and three sisters and one sister uh, passed a few years ago. I didn't know her. She left home at 16. I didn't know her. I was four or something. From my dad's first wife. She passed away from MS when she was only 24, 1948. Before I had my second daughter, I didn't even like the smell of a tea bag. I didn't like tea at all. And then when I was having her, then I was craving I wanted tea. And then, but for years, I still drank coffee. Until here. I think it was within this last five years, I guess, I, I do drink the tea. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to pop them in the middle here. Change my clothes and fall on the sofa. <laughs> As you guys have witnessed, what sports did do, do did you play? I liked volleyball, and badminton, and some kind of soccer ball to kick with the ball. Kick the ball anyway. Kick the. I think it was a soccer ball. I can't throw straight, so I can't, or hit straight, so I can't, I couldn't play baseball. Oh, she's still on my chair. Oh. Look at her. Bless her. Oh. 
my favorite store. I guess it would have to be Walmart. We don't have any choices. Many choices. Well, I don't remember what inspired me before, but five years ago, Chef AJ inspired me, and she still does, but the feeling healthy and having energy and stuff inspires me to want to keep on. That's my accountability, is my health, and inspires me to want to keep on and not stray off I say they're hazel not ah, green everybody else says they're hazel so I don't know if you guys can tell or not <laughs> there was a lot of crumbs in there garlic crumbs Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. What color does it look like? I wish NJ would come on here, Norma Jean, and see me wearing these. <laughs> they do? Oh. Oh well. You'll have to check next time that we're in person. Favorite TV show when you were a child? Maybe the Flintstones. I don't remember. I can't remember. I like that I'm healthy. I have energy. I have strength. And I'm not just in my house all the time, in my bed. I like that I have the freedom of the internet and all the friends that I've met through it. What is the strangest thing? Strangest thing I ever saw. Uh, in real life or on TV or anywhere. Um, I don't know. The strangest thing, I just don't know. What's the strangest things you guys ever saw?
I can't say. I don't know. I'm stumped. All the soft places to lay, and she chooses that hard chair. Hard. It's hardwood chair. Oh, sort of like crime stuff. I guess a razor clam is a strange looking thing. We searched for three days for this older man after they called off the search. He showed up back home and not long ago I just saw the same guy was missing again. <gasps> I wonder if he has Alzheimer's. Or maybe a homeless man or something. Or sometimes when people go on, like if they're drinking and they go on binges, they disappear for a while. Were you on a helicopter, Ashley, or just on the ground? Well, ground search. Duh. Oh, you were in a helicopter? Ooh. I don't know. That is a mystery, Ashley. Mmm, I bet it was. I was talking to my friend last night. I told him we're, uh, we're going on the Ferris wheel. Uh, I said I was on one when I was 16. He said, I've never been on one, and he's 73. That's the strangest thing I've ever eaten. A raw clam. Yeah, when I was drinking. I wouldn't have eaten that if I wasn't drinking. And I never did it again. Well, I ate a few. I know, Ashley. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 that would be my weakness to um want to eat and eat the fried tater wedges yeah i call that my last addiction because it is it's oil and salt
white, orange, green, another orange. Purple, uh, red onion. No. Neither one of us. I never had the desire. And since I've been chemically sensitive, I wouldn't sink uh, ink into my skin. And he doesn't like needles. If if he could, he would kill the needle. You have a tattoo? I like the look of them on people. It's a tattoo of cupcake. Oh, it is a cupcake. <laughs> I thought you had a tattoo of the cat. <laughs> and I have this ear pierced, and I have another pierce right there. That's my piercings. Oh, when you were 21. So you liked cupcakes for quite a while. <laughs> I saw that cupcake ornaments, did you? Cool. Cupcakes are cute. When, in 1980, I made Mummy six cupcakes for her, her birthday instead of a cake. I was living at her home with her, our homestead. Star sign, you mean Gemini? She likes the chair, all right. I assume that's a Gemini thing. I am... I know I'm um, Gemini, but I don't. No, oh, there, that's better. I can see her better now. Oh, until I reach over here. Mmm, mmm. Those onions are so good. Mmm. He's got to throw his whole bag of baby mini carrots away because he left them out. He left them in that room in that plastic bag. He doesn't know it yet, but 
I picked up the, that doesn't look good, and I picked up the bag, and they're all slimy, and Now, am I going to finish this dish full of food or not? Yes, I am. <laughs> as far as getting on a ladder. So I hope I don't freak out at the top of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> I had this terrible vision of me dropping my phone from up there. Yeah. That wouldn't be a good thing. I don't know if it would survive. No. Mm. No. I gotta go get the the thing to the measuring cup. I'm all stiffed up from sitting there. I make Richie up uh, some of this here uh, potatoes and vegetables here and uh, that can be a soup. He doesn't mind my using my spoon. That's probably. Can you whistle? Oh, I whistled. I can't really whistle, but. Whistle while you work. Do you have any birthmarks? Uh, no. No, 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 not that I know about. 
Unless they're behind me and I don't know they're there. Let's have a bite of a cucumber. Are you tired of questions yet? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, you're finding them online. Okay. No, do, do a few more. Pot liquor from yesterday. Oh, I got too much. Oh, why don't I just do it this way? Duh. <laughs> That's what the measuring cup is for. Dum dum. There, that'll be good. Uh, put that in the fridge. Put oh, those pickles in the fridge. Get out that grapefruit before he eats more of it. Grapefruit and orange. I'll put this back for tomorrow. For me tomorrow. Because uh, tomorrow's Friday. It'll be his last day of work. So. Ah, here we go. Have you ever been on a motorcycle? Yes. Well, it was a small motorcycle. Yeah. I have the problem with the exhaust and stuff, so Richie had a, a, a motorcycle one time, but I, I couldn't get on with it because of the exhaust. Yeah. And I can't go on skidoos or um, speedboats or four-wheelers, side-by-sides, anything like that I can't do. No mobile. Two thousand and one. I was hiking with a friend along the French shore, and the grass had all grown up. You know how the grass grows up and it goes over like this. And when you walk, you catch your feet. Well, I caught my foot and I went cut out, smashed down, tired. I was 187 pounds at that time. And my friend said, he got me up and he tried to make me a crutch. Well, that didn't work. I tried to lean on him. That didn't work. So, anyway, I fell back to the ground. He said, for God's sakes, just stay there for a while. <laughs> Let me go get help. No, you can't leave me. What if a bear comes? <laughs> it was July 7th, I think. Anyway. <laughs> so, then he half carried me. What a guy. Anyway, that took care of the rest of my summer. Yeah. Summer and, and most of the fall. The fun stuff I didn't get to do. Yeah, I know, Ashley. All the, it was the little bone on the outside of my ankle on my left leg. Yeah, I missed the rest of the fun stuff that summer. Canoeing, biking, hiking. 
all that stuff. Um, and I've had stitches from surgeries. And I had a stitch here. I was cutting bone. We were boning uh, frozen swordfish, of all things, at Continental Seafoods in Shelburne, down the Shelburne Wharf. And everybody, we had gone to um, the tavern for, uh, I don't know what it was called, Bruce's Wharf then? And for lunch, and I wasn't allowed to go and drink beer, allowed from my husband. So anyway, I was the only one that didn't drink a beer, and I was the one that come back from work and cut myself. They took me to the medical center. It was there and where video focus is, I think. Mm. So, I guess those are the stitches from surgeries and When I broke my leg, when he finally got me out of the to the to his vehicle and took me over to Yarmouth, which I think is a thirty-minute drive, and he went in and got a wheelchair for me, and he had a a bag of frozen raspberries, so he put that on my on my leg down there. So when I first got there, they thought, that, oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea you had there. Put that on there. And then they started to thaw up. And the, star, the bag started to leak. And there, it looked like blood all over the place. What is under my bed? Dust bunnies? Missy had a mouse last night and let it go. I hope that's not under there. <laughs> if there's anything else under there, I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, one day here, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago, I was walking by, and you know how my blanket is too long on the floor? And I saw something out from under it, and I, it was dark, and I went to pick it up, and I picked it up, and it was a dead mouse, a stiff dead mouse. One item I can't leave home without? Yeah, I know. And then after that, I found another one. So she must kill them and, I don't know, maybe they crawl under there and die. I don't know, but, or she hides them under there. I don't know. The one item I can't leave home without? Well, <laughs> I don't want to leave home without my cell phone. And if it was before cell phones, I don't know what it would have been. Something I've never done that I would like to try. Um, yeah, think about that.
What are some examples? <laughs> if it would have been two years ago, I would have said. Oh, another tick. If it would have been two years ago, my birthday, I would have said ride a horse, but I've done that now. So, and that was the, my, that was my bucket list. <laughs> Skydiving, sailing, fly to the moon. Ah! 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 None of those. <laughs> um, Linda, hello. <laughs> Richard's grounded, Linda. He ate grapefruit, and he's not supposed to because of medication. And the last thing he said to me last night when I was talking to him on the phone, I called and said, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm sitting in the chair eating a chip, I think he was eating. I should have a, a, um, an orange or he said something about the grapefruit. I said, don't eat the grapefruit. No, I won't eat the grapefruit. No, I know I'm not supposed to eat the grapefruit. I'll eat the orange while I look. Yeah. So, he's grounded. i just been doing some more get-to-know-me questions. I My black phone with the questions with my community thing is down... Ate it in his sleep. <laughs> well, there is such a thing as sleep eating. People get up in the middle of the night and they eat. They eat and they don't even know they've done it. They cook whole course meals and 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 say they don't remember doing it. So, anyway, oh Linda, I got more. I got more birthday cards. I got three birthday cards. I got these earrings and with a twenty dollar bill from. Uh, NJ and her mom and father and uh, from Richard's mom a $10 bill on the card and another card from uh, a long time pen pal yeah you can tell the difference there's no you know he's not even colorblind you can't mistake so I'm just waiting for his explanation when he gets home hon why did you eat the grave root <laughs> Poor Richie. <laughs> I don't know. After 40 years of listening to this voice, I don't know how he does it, but I'm going to eat the rest of the grapefruit. $2.50 for a grapefruit. This is going to be sour. <laughs> Which animals scare you most? Does a spider count? <laughs> there was one on my pillow the other night, actually. And it went like this. I never did find his corpse, so I was still crawling around somewhere. <laughs> never been something to get on film. Years ago, when I was a kid, if I went in the bathroom, there's a great big white bathtub with the legs on it. There's little feet, cast iron uh, bathtub. It's all white. I go in there, and there'd be a big black spider. Ah! What's wrong? It's a spider! <laughs> There's no really animals around here that, well, certain times of the year I don't go in the woods because of coyotes, because they have been known to attack people.
Ashley's looking them up for me and putting them on for me. And there's a uh, Callie in my new antique chair my friend gave me. <laughs> you can catch them, can you? Usually I'm just so startled that I just stomp. But I have gotten them in glass, uh, coaxed them in a glass before and threw them out the door. In later years. I was on a grapefruit juice diet years ago. I think it was before I was 17. My nose. Oh yeah, Linda. I got I got these earrings, three cards, and thirty more dollars. So now I've got about fifty six dollars to go shopping with. I've seen people put sugar on grapefruit and put it in the oven. No oh, yeah. Well I can understand putting sugar on it but not in the oven. Birds fly close to me are scary to me because when I was younger, one got trapped in my bedroom and was banging on the walls trying to get out. That would, be, that would scare me. As a child, I think that would be a traumatizing thing. I know. Uh, so I can buy about five pieces of clothes for that. On the 22nd. That's a week from today. Be right back. What he did with the little oh my heavens nothing where it's, nothing's where it's supposed to be anymore <laughs> hi Linda's mom <laughs> Oh, she, oh, I see, yeah. Well, how old were you? That would be traumatizing, I, I would think. I worked in the woods this morning, Linda, before I come on here. Did you 
you know, five or six, uh, that would be scary. Is it dry there? Our rain just stopped. Um, it's still dry. We are supposed to have, uh, we got a 60% chance of uh, thunder showers. It was right hot and muggy out there. I had to stop. They're so tasty, but they're tough. Ugh. I have to have the homestead kitty in the picture. Oh. Pretty loud if it wakes you up. Oh, she woke up. Look at her. <laughs> what a good girl. Now you want mommy's new chair? Aw. You're so beautiful. <laughs> what a good girl. I left my other phone down by the wood pile so I can't. That's why Ashley's giving me questions. Do you have any questions, Linda? Excuse me, feel free. I went to sleep before one, but then I woke right back up again, and I was awake until after four this morning. And then after I went to sleep, and I think I slept four hours. It's almost too chilly here, but oh, I think right after four I went to sleep. I dug this here top out the other day, and I got a brooch. Um, a scarf pin here so I just gathered that there to make it because it is it is big it's about what did I It was about 23 or 24. 70 something. <clears throat> he had the fire ready for me to make, but I didn't make it. I wonder if I should put on my flannel shirt. I'm not going to make a fire now, no. I'm almost ready to go home. Yeah, it's still ready. Yesterday it was really hot. Yeah, I was just sitting there sweat, sweat, sweat. Just sitting there doing nothing. Ugh.
Does that let off some heat? Or is it just, uh, oh, 11. Yeah, it will, yeah, you want heat. But I'd rather be 11 than 30. Yeah. I have my birthday thing on, opening my birthday cards this morning. <laughs> mm-hmm. I uh, thought about having one little one over in the trailer, but a little electric one, but any that I've been around, they give off a, a hot smell. I'd never be able to have it in my home. I don't know about a gas one. We had to take the propane stove out. Yeah, that trailer came with a propane stove. We had to take that out. We took the furnace out because we'd never be able to use uh, oil. I was too hot for you. Oh. She laid back down again. Yeah, I said to Richard to cut this. Yeah, the dampness, yeah. I said, I cut this as big as that drawer in that little table for the silverware. We had a little table yesterday from uh, Richie's mom, a table and chairs. It's out on the deck. Oh, the cement. Yeah, it is pretty. But it's just painted over boards, so. Just something for the silverware to lay on to. Unless we can get a small tray, a silverware tray, I don't know. I think you can buy smaller ones. Yeah. Easy to clean, yeah. This is some kind of... Some kind of smooth... This is 3D. Somehow... Uh, I don't know how they do that, but... It looks like it's very thick, but it's not. <laughs> I haven't made myself banana and ice cream since that day over here. Yeah, maybe. Somehow they, it looks like it. I don't know how. <laughs> Genius, whoever thought it up. Linda, the table's going to be narrower this way, but it's going to be longer this way, so this chair is going to be even more in the way. I don't know what he's going to do with that. The house is full. There's no place to put it.
I drank some pot liquor before I, when I was waiting for my food to warm up. Maybe I'll leave this for him and he can take it with him to work tomorrow if he wants to. Non-alcoholic Thirsty Thursday. Has a 3D puzzle. Hates it. I will figure out the table. You will figure out the table. It is so nice. Yes. A 3D puzzle. Oh, I don't know how that would be to put it put it together. Oh, my tick bites. That's not a tick bite. That's a tick biting me. Oh, for pity's sakes. Another one. This is the third one today I took off of myself. This one was biting me again. <clears throat> I don't know. I got about 20 bites so far. No, I don't think I would like it either. Now I got a bite right beside a bite. They hold themselves right close to you and it makes you think that it's just a scab. But. Uh, <sighs> A tick nest, yes, a tick nest. <laughs> well, that's three today. And I'm not even going up behind the building. I'm just down there and up here. I I'm not going in. Oh, too late. I already showed it. I'm sorry. I got a puzzle last year, but I never opened it up. I'll wait until winter time. I don't know where to do it at because... Oh, good. I'm glad, Linda. I don't want to scare anybody or gross them out. I didn't ever did open it up, uh, Ashley. So maybe this winter I'll open it up and Richard can give me a cardboard to put on top. And I don't know where we'll put it after, though. Concentrating on typing. Good. Uh, we used to put it in under the sofa. Mom and Dad used to, but... This one here goes right to the floor, he said. Can't put anything under there, but. Must be able to put a little piece of cardboard. No, we don't. Because it would have to be somewhere where the cat doesn't get at it. That's the thing. And she would get at it on a table, any kind of a table. Gee. Don't worry about that. I've been talking for hours on here. Oh. Oh, shut up and let Ashley talk. Oh. <laughs> she actually been giving me the questions. Did you have any questions, Linda? Something you don't know already know?
Yeah, it's very hot and muggy. Why am I cold in here? Because it's an old house. What is the farthest place you have ever been? The farthest place I have ever been. I guess that would have been Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Across the causeway. Into, uh... Oh, what's it called? Uh... Around the Bedore Lakes. Good morning, Marcy. Happy non-alcoholic Thirsty Thursday. Red Rose. Orange Pico today. i just been uh, eating and talking and I forgot my other phone down by the wood pile so actually been uh, typing out questions for a get to know me video this is part two I did some yesterday there's some more questions but in the list I found on Google but unless I'll add some tonight because <laughs> I wish I would have made a fire now. Well, Marcy, I got three birthday cards. And, you know, NJ that comes in here and talks, Norma Jean, her and her parents sent me a $20 bill and a card and these earrings. Now, aren't these going to be really good for when we go to the beach thing? So now all together I got $56, I think, birthday money. So when I go, yeah. And when I go to, uh, the next time we go to Walmart, I'll, I can pick out five pieces of clothes for $56. Yeah. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I know that's a song, I think. My back hurts from this chair. We got the table yesterday, Marcy. But it's still, it's out on the cement out there outside the door, airing off. He'll probably bring it in today after work. Yeah, he'll probably bring it. I hope he does anyway. The cat is in there on my chair, my new chair that my friend gave me. The friend I met when I was 16 and she was seven, uh, 15. And now I'm 71. I was, uh, oh, I was going to say I was 17. 17, 71, but I was 16, so. And I've been wearing this shirt since 23 years ago. <laughs> I got a picture of me 23 years ago wearing it. That's how I know. I know. I tell people you don't have to send me anything, but just being here and being my friends is. Some people just can't help themselves, like Ashley. She loves to give gifts, she said. And so does her mother. She got it from her mother. Oh, I wonder where Faye is today. I'm a poet and don't know it. I can make a rhyme any old time. <laughs> Ashley, Mum sent me a picture of her cat. What a gorgeous kitty. Well, I think she said name Charlie, but Charlie can be a boy or a girl, so I didn't say him or her. The brightness of that window is getting me again. We should do dishes. 
I know, it's only a few pieces. Yeah, she has two boys, Charlie and Mackie. Oh, she's got two boys. We had four boys and two girls, and everybody got along, except the two girls. They don't like each other. And then all the boys gradually... Every My thing just went like this, and it said reconnecting, you're live. And then all the boys started dying off. And that left with the two girls who can't stand each other. They can hardly share me or the bed. I'm getting really tired. I better get up and do something or else. <sighs> yeah, or else. <laughs> there she is. Oh, you're all right. Good girl. Good girl. I'm sorry to wake you. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do this blanket. Oh, I almost fell over. Every once in a while, when I put my weight on that leg, it grabs in my upper leg and wants to let me down. Well, it hasn't yet. There, that's done. Okay, that scared me. Do that. Did you guys ever cough over your own spit before? Almost choked yourself on your own spit? Or saliva, I should say. Sounds more ladylike than spit. Bit. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing lady like a boat. Potato patty. <laughs> no. <coughs> Sorry about the racket. Dude. This floor needs to be swept, but I'm not going to do it. She found Charlie as a kitten at the fish plant. Aww. Is it? I just went and hauled in right uh, sharply, and that's, I don't usually, that was like a freak thing. <laughs> These leggings feels like I got nothing on, really. <laughs> Almost feels like there's nothing on. <laughs> Okay, so let's get some dish detergent on the dish liquid on my thingy. I need a new one of these. I got to put it on my list, Ashley, but I didn't remember. And I do have a list started. I got to put pickles and Pickles and olives again. Oh, I just wish I could fall right on the bed right now. But oh no, I got so much to do between the time I get... Between, 
between the time I leave here and I get to lay down that but I don't know I just always come over because I don't want to leave Callie here by herself all all day I mean other people go to work and leave their cats all day and they survive I said to him yesterday I said don't forget that's my cat you're just borrowing her no she's mine no she's not she thinks she's his well they all like him best anyway every cat we ever had Yeah, that is comfort. Flaggings. A great cat, my wall. Thank you. <laughs> and Richie's a good cat, Dad. Yeah. Father's Day Sunday. I don't know if we're going to do anything. Maybe that's when we'll go down above us for, for a meal. Yeah, it's all planned out. Sunday. That's his Father's Day thing. We're, we'll go to we'll go to Bubba's for supper. Now I gotta fill this this up. with fresh water. Ah, oh, I'm back. This is a low sink. My grandmother hiding. Watch what you're doing, Patty. Watch what you're doing. I turn this light out over here. Now I gotta. My glasses, sunglasses. comment. Oh, I almost got a Charlie horse. Whew. That was awful. Awful scary. My husband doesn't want me to cook anything special for him on Father's Day. He will order pizza and I will have my salad and leftover meat. Whatever works. Yeah. Whatever works. Well, we were going to go out on... Uh, hello, Grandmother Harding. We were going to go out on uh, tomorrow for supper. And, but instead, I think we'll just do it on Sunday instead. Well, it's up to him. Whatever he wants to do. If he wants to do it both days, well, we'll, we'll do it both days. Because he's the one that makes the money. Well, I mean, I have my old age security, but... He's the one that goes to work and stands there for eight hours and... 
My daughter and her two dogs will be here. Maybe I will surprise him with homemade apple pie. <gasps> Yum. Homemade apple pie. Last time I made a homemade apple pie, Linda, would have been in 1983, 84, uh, 80, 83. We lived in a house down a dirt road. We had electricity. We had a, an old time hand pump. There was a flush toilet in the corner of the bedroom no walls or anything around it just a toilet sitting there in the corner of the bedroom yeah that would be hard and uh so i made in, in a old time kitchen wood cook stove and i made him this apple pie and i was always on a diet and not so much on a diet then, but I was trying to maintain the 118 pounds that I got down to from 130 something down to 118. Anyway, so I was, it was dark. It was nighttime. He was asleep in the chair in the living room and I was sneaking around in the dark trying to get myself a piece of apple pie. And I had, you know, a spice bottle with uh, cinnamon sugar. Well, I had one of those and I sprinkled it on top of my my apple pie and lo and behold it was steak spice instead of my cinnamon sugar last time I ever made a pie and the last time I ever tried to sneak a piece in the dark <laughs> I don't know why I was sneaking it because he didn't care <laughs> sneaking from myself <laughs> yeah I know <laughs> Funny, funny story. Okay, mommy, I'll see you tomorrow. Be a good girl. There she is. You're always a good girl, aren't you? Good girl. Yeah. Don't lift your head or anything. I gotta check her water before I go. Mom's gonna check your water before I go. Yeah, you got water, but I'll, I'll give it a nice... Oh! Lordy, lordy. I almost tripped over my own knitting bag. Considering I don't even knit anymore. Or crochet. Oh... I'm ready. Have a little swig. Close it so I don't spill it by accident like I have a couple times in the past. Okay. Tomorrow. Mommy will be back tomorrow. I guess I won't be closing the green door because that table's in the way. There it is, you guys. There's the table in the chair. It's going to be so cool. Okay, here we go. Down the hill. Yeah, it's, the sky is gray and gloomy. No sun or big white fluffy clouds. There's the robin. Red, red robin goes ba ba bobbing along. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I got to go over and get my phone now and my water bottle. This big yard and we can't figure out where to put this next load of wood. Yeah. 
Can't put it there because the the field bed is there for the septic. If that van wasn't there, he might be able to put it there. I gotta say that to Richard. We took that out of there. That yeah. I think I would like it over there. I worked out here this morning. I just vlogged it. I don't know if I'm going fuzzy and connecting. <sighs> said reconnecting. And then it said I'm live. Buffering. I'll soon be home. Give me a minute. I can't run though. Give me a minute. And I'll be at the trailer. Well, that robin is going ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> bob, bob, bobbing along. <laughs> it's, it's faster than I. There's a cherry blossoms. Yeah, there is some cherry blossoms on this old tree this year. Last year there was no cherries at all. Depth so I can put put my stuff down. <sighs> Should be okay now. Almost got mommy, it's mommy. Got a headache. Uh, let's just sit here for a second. We never sat here before. I'm not cold anymore. It's cold in the house, but it's not cold outdoors. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Oh yeah, Marcy. Let it snow somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's still there. Yeah, well. Now we're... Okay, good. Good, you can see me. Now that we're out of the wood business, we can have time to do other things. Yes, please. Yes, please. I said no to something else, and then I was sorry I said no. <laughs> it's only like, it'll be better for me. I'm going to have it anyway if I go to Lockport. Only it's going to be pound cake and strawberries and real Cool Whip or whatever they use on it. So whatever you make is going to be even, you know, better for me. What time do you usually go over to Lockport? Um, well, they used to, uh, you had to be there before 11 o'clock to get the strawberry shortcake. And then the parade isn't until 2 o'clock, I think. But there's a certain place in town that I have to go to watch the parade. Richard takes me every year is way over so the wind coming off of the back harbor is coming this way and it's i'm up wind so yeah i'm up wind and the wind is blowing past from the back of me and blowing the exhaust away from me so that's the only way i can the only place i can watch the parade at but I got to get this hip fixed up because I want to walk around Lockport. Last, last year I walked around Lockport, I think, three times. It's not very big. Not the whole town, but we walked around. Yeah, five, six years ago, I was trying to get wheeled around in a wheelchair by my sister. And that didn't really work because... The roads are bumpy. The wheelchair was tiny. And I was wide. I was a wide load. If you can imagine 239 pounds, size 3X, bursting out the seams. Uh, yeah. And only 5 foot 1 inch tall. That's wide. Like, I mean, a taller person 
they won't be that wide if they were that that weight yeah but i was i was wide anyway so i was trying to go around a wheelchair so i just sat and my sister would go get me the the strawberry shortcake and my fries and onion rings or whatever and we'd sit in the middle there and listen to music and that's even hard to do because people were still allowed to smoke in there smoke while they're sitting on the bleachers listening to the live music yeah i know i didn't like that i don't know if they're still allowed or not they shouldn't be allowed but So, yeah, that's why we went over at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I always like to get fries and onion rings from a food truck. <laughs> well, I used to get, uh, oh dear. This is where I was sitting in 2001 when the hornet stung me. One just went by and reminded me. Oh, yeah, and, and before that, I used to have pizza. They used to have uh, pizza in town. The drugstore used to be open. You used to be able to go in there and shop around if you wanted to. The parking is crazy, Ashley. I don't drive and park. Richard drives over. Yeah, and finds a place to park. Some people all the way out, out of town along the causeway, there's cars parked. And the town is full. It's a small town. Less than 800 people. But it is. Yeah, it's full up. There's a lot of people. Maybe not quite as much now since the pandemic. But I can't remember what it was like last year. Can't remember. But I remember when we went and got the strawberry shortcake and we was car carrying it to a, a, a bench to sit down on. I'm thinking it probably would be better here. I'll see what Richard says, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what he, he'll say. Um, I'm thinking he's trying to get out of coming over. I'm thinking that he's thinking, okay, Ashley's going to be with you. You're not going to be alone, so I don't have to go. That's what I think he's, that's what I think he's trying to get. But I want him to go. I even... Went into the little, well, I don't know if it was a bowling alley still or, anyway, anyway, he went in there and he had a beer and I just sat there and with him and let him drink his beer. But last year, I don't think it was open, but the Legion wasn't open last year or the year before, I don't think. Are you going to have a new car by then? Ashley. This is July 1st, uh, Linda, and whoever here is listening. It looks like six people. Um, it's Canada's birthday. And I don't know how old, 160-something. Well, it's kind of quite nice sitting here. The sun isn't too hot right now. And no mosquitoes or black flies are getting me. I shouldn't brag about that because probably not. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe if his friend went to, he would want to. His friend will be there, but he'll be with, he'll be with other people. I'll put it that way.
We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's not a lot of things that we do together. So, there are a few things during the year that I do like to do together. I mean, we work together and we live together, but I mean, out, out around in, in public. I had a lounge chair. I wonder if that's still here or if it It would be 16 years old. I don't know if it, if it, uh, you know, wore out or if it's still here in a closet somewhere. I'll have to check. Yeah, I have an aversion to checking in closets because many, many years ago in the late 80s, I was cleaning the closet and I came across a, a Christmas present that I didn't know was there. And he always teased me, accused me of snooping. I said, I didn't snoop and I'm never going to clean the closet again. <laughs> so, it might be in there. It might be in this porch. I, I don't know where it is. It was a lounge chair that I could lay, lay on it. It was a nice one. It had a nice padding, thick padding. It was nice. I thought you were going to say you found something spooky. No, it wasn't spooky. <laughs> uh, it was... Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these here big footprint things that it's a metal footprint thing and you put it on your gas pedal and a small one on your dimmer switch when we still had dimmer switches i don't know if you guys are young enough too young to know what a dimmer switch is because <laughs> even in the canadian tower they didn't know And that's what I found. And he's got it. It's still on the truck today. I'm I'm Ontario, but we've never done anything on that day. My husband does not like crowds. When the Rotary Festival is on and they have some good bands playing, I may ask a friend. Oh well, that would be nice if you get a, a friend to ask. I don't like crowds. Uh, but this is a small town, like less than 800 people. We know a lot of people. I know, still know a lot of people over there. And Richard knows pretty well everybody. So it's a little bit different than going where there's a crowd of strangers. Like for me, anyway. But I still rather, uh, I mean, I go out three or four times a year to outdoor things but other than that i like to stay home i don't mind I, i'd rather stay home with my cats <laughs> that's awful I'd rather be with your cats than people well i attended my sister-in-law's uh funeral service sister-in-law's sister's funeral service i i watched it on my computer from the funeral home yeah instead of going even before even uh, not even like in crowds but then i got the smell problem with smells and then i got the we got the pandemic problem but and i'm still nervous to go out in crowds because of that and the smell thing is the funeral home was so smelly when, when my mom's service, that was in 2004, they had so many air fresheners plugged into the outlets in there, it was just criminal. 
The place was toxic. I could not stay in there. My friend came and he said, you got to get out of here. You can't stay in here. And then my other friend from up there on the French shore, she said the same thing. They both came to my mom's funeral service from way up there. They're really good friends. They are. And uh, Arlene knows who she is. <gasps> A woodpecker. It's in the cherry tree. Come on, woodpecker. Let us see you. Come on. It's over in that cherry tree. I gotta find my bird book. That's something we could do. Sit on the deck and watch birds. Couldn't we? Oh, wait a minute. There, I got to look at the... There's a comment there. But... Oh. I don't know where it went. It was in that... Cherry tree over there. I didn't think it flew away, but... Oh. Oh, I almost fell down the stairs. Gee, that wouldn't be good. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Can you guys see it? Could you see it? Oh yeah, Penny, Tracy's woodpecker. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, I gotta find the bird book. That's all there is to it. Find the bird book and we can watch birds sitting out here. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm supposed to be in the house laying down. Well, that was pretty cool, huh? <sighs> I guess I might as well go in. Penny, the woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, she's got a whole bunch of randles now. <laughs> a little flock of randles. I don't hear it. But maybe it ran away. I flew away. All right. Oh, my other phone just made a noise. I didn't know it was online. Oh, it just went dead. That's why it made a noise. It went dead. I think it was only 28 degree, 28 percent or something this morning. Well, this has been nice sitting out here on the deck for a little bit. Yeah, no bugs. Even if there was bugs, I could go in the screen room. It's still a mess. I haven't gone out there and tidied it up yet. And it's still got the plastic on it. So that'll have to come off, though. Because even though it's cooler now, it's going to be hot. August, July and August will be hot. <clears throat> now, let's get in here. Mommy! Yeah, that's a lot of cherry blossoms, you guys. Look at them all.
Oh, my new earrings. Hi, Vicky and Dale and Norma Jean. I never saw a woodpecker until I moved up north here. All kinds here. Even the huge ones. Oh, really? Oh. I never re remember seeing how pretty that tree was before. Let's go over here and look at the... Oh. These are uh, blackberry bushes. Coming in bloom there. Blackberry bushes. It's going to be a lot of them. A lot of bloom. Now, oh yeah, there's the orange. In there, there's orange leaves on the tree already. I don't know. I won't know if you can see that or not. Do you pick them? Uh, well, I used to, started to. Yeah, a few years ago, but they had they had worms on them. Is that the name of the woodpecker? I think that was a robin. No, the woodpecker's up at the top now. It's up at the top. It's preening its feathers. Oh. Oh, I scared it away. Oh, well. It'll probably come back. Now we got some pretty purple viney flowers in amongst there. Now I gotta get up this step. There, I got up. Just a minute, I'll look at the, the comment when I get my glasses on. Oh, I knocked down some compost, uh, not compost, recyclable garbage is there. Must have did that when I come out. Didn't realize it. Or maybe I realized it and I forgot it. No, I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's only mommy. Don't worry. Don't worry, girls. Sunny mama. <laughs> Good girls. Good girls. Any ticks on my sock? No. Not that one. No, not on that one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about my money. Don't forget your money. Ah, don't forget your money, Daddy. Okay. I'll get my phone. Oh. Sorry, I did that, not her. <laughs> Missy. <laughs> Missy, you're so cute. You're both so cute. I can't stand it. I can't stand how cute you two are. Okay, so let's... Oops, sunglasses are almost falling off. Put these on so I can read. I've seen them too. They don't even look real like a woodpecker. The size of a crow. Oh, I never saw one. I'm going to turn the computer on. Yeah, the first time I saw one, I thought it was seeing things. <laughs> Missy. Missy Mew Mew. Oh. Okay, you can't see her. Oh. 
Where are you, Missy? Oh, she went to the other side of me. What are you doing over there? What are you, <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing? She's so tiny. <laughs> She's a little tiny girl. She's already eight pounds. What are you doing? You waiting for mama? Are you waiting for mama? No, oh, they're both waiting for me. Okay. Okay, good girls. Uh. Callie is a very loud purring kitty. She purrs loud. Good girls. Ha! <laughs> much huh where'd you go she let a mouse go last night I don't know where it got to I never heard her hunting after that so Ugh. Ugh. trying to get my pant leg off I got one. There's the other. I can't wait to get to Walmart and try to exchange those. I don't know where she's over there. Try to exchange those uh, blue camo leggings. So I'm really excited. I want the blue, but I want the extra large and I want the high rise. I don't want the low rise. I already said that. I know. But oh, I'll say it again. Oh, I can't lay down yet because Callie, uh, June 15. I don't know. I don't know where that is. I gotta be careful. Yeah. I did find my biker shorts, so I should I should get my biker shorts. Oh. There's I got an email from some company called VoCut official it's an editing tool thing they want to know if I want to try it but I don't know I have to try it and then then there's a 30 minute telephone interview I'm no good on the telephone so I'm probably gonna just say no thank you um Yeah, I was going to, yeah, here it is here. I was going to put it on my community post and, and ask um, advice. Yeah, but I don't think I want to do it. I'll put it on there anyway. Oh, I got to get my earrings out. My new... I never had starfish earrings before. Norma Jean and Vicky and Dale. But now I do. 
They'll be, I'll be wearing these to the beach. Yeah. Well, as soon as Callie gets out of there, uh, gets done, I'll... Oh, what? What will I do? Lay down. Yeah. Uh. What do you guys think of this? Scam or not? Yeah. My thumb is jumping. And that, uh, uh, um, what was he called? What's that guy called that you go to? Not there, physiotherapy or massage or something like that, but he's a. What's he called? <laughs> Starts with an S. Ashley, you probably know. Um, <laughs> oh, that's really bugging me now. I can't. What is he called? No, the other one. The other word. The other guy. He manipulates your body and does stuff, but starts with an S. Oh, Marcy, I hope it gets better, hon. Take care. I'm soon going off anyway. It starts with an S. Thanks for staying here and being with us. Listening to uh, my jibber-jabbering on. About nothing, really, but... I guess we did do a lot of get to know me questions. You too, hon. I hope your migraine is gone in a flash. I'm going to talk to my computer. I'm going to ask Google. What's this? Um, what kind of doctor can fix my sciatica? According to Front Range Spine and Neurosurgery, since sciatica is a nerve disorder, involving a neurologist in the diagnosis and treatment of the condition is beneficial. When conservative methods fail to relieve pain symptoms, a patient may be referred to a neurosurgeon or orthopedic surgeon. No, that's not it. Why isn't it coming up? Okay. But that other kind of a doctor, what is he called? Uh, how come there's it's not coming up?
Osteopath. Is it an osteopath? And Yeah, I said it started with an S. <laughs> oh my goodness, Patty, that was way off. <laughs> Let me see. Osteopathy. Yeah, here's my uh, October 2018 osteopathy right there. So I was going in 2018. So it was probably 2000, May 2019. I was. Is that your birthday? October 10th? I'll never remember that. Yeah, uh, osteo osteopath. Well, it's got an S in it. <laughs> um, yeah, I went to a lot of a lot of appointments. I was the last person out. Oh, there's my money. I was the last person out in May when they locked the first lockdown. I was the last person over there, last appointment. And they said, See ya. I hope it gets better. <laughs> yeah, well, it did on its own. After that, closing the curtain up here. Get it as dark in here as possible, which isn't very dark, but. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it pays to keep old receipts <laughs> for when I need to when I need to be doing some investigative work uh, <laughs> when I can't think of things. Yeah, that that was it. What an angle, Patty. That's not a very becoming angle, Patty. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Now you will remember Ashley's birthday. Well, I wish I would. October 10, October 10, October 10, October 10! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. I don't know if I had a a little video to put out this morning. Ten ten ninety. Well, that's easy to remember. Twenty eight degrees. Uh, twenty eight percent. I don't know if I got. Uh, did I put out a little video this morning? I don't know if I did or not. I watched a short video you put out. Oh, maybe I did put it out then. Not a very good shot of your arm flab, Patty. Oh, my goodness. There's no good shots of me. <laughs> right today. <laughs> right now. What was I looking up? Oh, yeah. YouTube. That's the wrong folder, Patty. Get in the right folder. Library. Yeah, you're right. I did put it out. <laughs> yeah. June 14th. That was yesterday. Cupcake has been meowing to go outside for an hour. Oh, bless her. 
She still got 50 minutes. Aww. 50 minutes. This is the one that has the magnet, you guys, that I love. <laughs> How about that? I don't know where my girls are. They're somewhere. Is she going to get out for a walk? Are you getting that stroller? Oh, my goodness. That would be so cute. Oh, I forgot to put that on Facebook. I'll have to put it on Facebook after. Because some people just watch on Facebook. They don't watch on YouTube. I think I will get it. Yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> that would be just too cute. Will you put them both in the same time? Or one at a time? Oh, does he? What are you meowing for? <laughs> she wants to know. I can't, my thing for my phone, my, my phone is dead. Yeah, I know. I packed it away in my van. I don't know where it is. Try one at a time until they get used to it. Good idea. I should have thought of that on my own. Yeah, this here place, it wants me to try this uh, video editing tool. And then they want to give me this 30-minute um, phone telephone interview. So I think I'm probably going to say no, thank you. Yeah. They don't know me from Adam. It starts out, I hope this email finds you well. I am VV, the marketing manager of Vocut, which is an AI video editing tool. I'm really into your video about your high quality video. Content is amazing. I am reaching out because our team would love to collaborate with you. To tell you more about our team, we want to use the latest technology to help content creators make their videos more efficient. You guys, last night I was listening to Ange Activated, and she said that YouTube cut down the... Uh, instead of a thousand news, new, uh, subscribers to get monetized, they cut it down to 500. And instead of 4,000 watch hours, they cut it down to 3,000. But I asked Google, I, I went to YouTube, and, and they're still saying the thousand. Yeah, I know, they're still saying a thousand. So, yeah. That would be something else if it went down to 500. Woo! And then I'd already be there. I don't know where she got that information from, but I got a I I didn't comment yet. I still got a comment on the on the whole video. Oh, I see it. That is true. You see what? What's true? Because I went on...
What's true? Because I went on and... Huh? It says there's a new article released yesterday. New article released yesterday about YouTube monetization. Lowering the barrier to be able for it, eligible for it, its... Oh, gee, I gotta... I had the wrong glasses on. According to the latest guidelines of YouTube program, partner program, anyone with at least 5,000 subscribers can now apply for monetization. Up program, uh, provided they have uploaded at least three public videos in the last 90 days with a minimum of 3,000 watch hours or 3 million short views. Well, I guess I qualify because I looked it up on, I went to my YouTube page and it said, we will email you when you qualify. So what more can I do? Yeah, what? Oh, wow. This is very exciting. Oh. Three million short views. Whew. Okay, let's get the other glasses on and we'll see what this says. See if you can apply, yeah. YouTube is lowering. Okay, this isn't from the YouTube. What I clicked in it isn't from the YouTube uh, place itself. It's from other social Google changes. Uh, YouTube. Okay. Uh, I'm at the YouTube uh, page. Monetization policies. Being accepted into the YouTube program is a major milestone in any creator's journey as part of a YouTube partner program. Creators can start monetizing their Content, receive email and chat support, and get a, access to the copyright match tool. Yeah, but where's the... Where's the part about... Okay, learn more about the eligibility. I'll click on that. We're expanding, expanding to more creators. When you are monetized, we can send you tips on your live stream. I know, but you guys got to save your money for yourselves. To more creators with earlier access to fan funding and shopping features. This expansion is rolling out over the next month to creators in Canada, South Korea, Korea to Taiwan, the United Kingdom and the United States. If you're in one of these countries, check out this article. If you're not, um, want to apply, you need help building an audience first. Tips to establish. Tips for the, what you need to join. Okay, here we are. Uh, I don't have any active strikes, I hope. Uh, advanced features have one active AdSense account that you'll link to your channel. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I got to set up an AdSense account. What is this? What is this? 
If you are earning money or claiming a short bonus, you need to associate an approved AdSense. I don't know how to do it. Sign into YouTube Studio. Do you know anyone on here that is monetized that you can ask? There are probably videos about it. Um, Um, let me bring up YouTube Studio, and apparently, in the left menu, select the Earn tab. Earn. Where does it say Earn? There it is there. It's an it's a money sign. Become a partner. Well, I thought I already did. Here it is here. It says right here. It says reach requirements to apply 1000. And still telling me one thousand here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Reach requirements to apply one thousand. I have the watch hours. And I've already done this and I've already done this. We'll email you once you reach the acquire requirements right here. After you submit your application, we'll check to see if your channel follows the monetization policies. Well, I've already, um, we'll email you when you reach the requirements, so. Yeah. So, what do you think about that, you guys? Did you click get notified? Yeah, that's... I must have because it says we'll email you when you're when you reach the requirements. Yeah, there's millions of people on YouTube, so maybe they're just going to catch up to everybody. Yeah, so. Ugh. I had a hot flash, you guys. I know, it is exciting, isn't it, Linda? I'm thinking it is. There, I just took a picture of that because I need, tell me I still need a thousand, but as soon as that switches over to 500, woo, yeah, let's see. YouTube channels monetization, monetization, Policies. Let's click on that. <laughs> oh, there's so much. You click on one thing and then you have to go and they want you to click on another thing. All right. Given the recent suspension of Google advertising systems in Russia, 
will be pausing the creation of new Russian accounts. Please check out our advertised and friendly content guidelines. <sighs> I gotta subscribe. If you're in the YouTube partner program, you can share revenue with ads. Holy smokes. The article aims to help you understand which individual videos or shorts on your channel are suitable for advertisers. Creators can use these articles to understand both platforms. Self, this is too much. Our policies apply to all portions of your content, short, video, live stream, thumbnail, title, description, and tags. Our systems don't always get it right, but you can request human review of decisions made on your automated uh, systems. Okay. Um, subscribe here. I guess I got to subscribe there. I don't want a bunch of emails every day. <laughs> I get tired of emails from every place. This is too much. I might need help. I don't know who's going to help me, but. I don't know where to register at. Even the official YouTube channel put out a video about it. Okay. We're starting to roll out this new level of. Two creators in the U.S., U.K., Canada, too, over the coming weeks. I'll have to look at, uh, I would say once they contact you in the next couple of weeks, then there will be steps to take. Yeah, that would probably be better for Better for better for me to try to understand because I'm terrible at trying to understand stuff. The use of any profanity, moderate or stronger profanity, in titles and thumbnails will still be demonetized and cannot run ads, as was the case before the update in November. Well... I would hope so. And no profanity on how profanity in music is treated. There's some people that they're monetized and they they have some pretty strong language, pretty pretty bad language, yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, this is too much. It's getting I'm not going to be able to relax if I'm trying to worry about this or try to not worry about it, but figure it out. Yeah. I'll just let them... Well, it says right there, we will email you once you reach the requirements. So once they email me, uh, then it should be easier for me to understand, I hope. Yeah, there's not there's not much yeah. Yeah, true enough. So I might as well not aggravate myself. But it is pretty exciting. 
Yeah, and then how do I, I don't know how to do it. If you can claim, like, can I have the receipt for for our mukbang and keep that and use it for income tax purposes? Exactly, Ashley, exactly. And what kind of ads are they going to put on, though? Are they going to put ads like meat? <laughs> are they going to advertise meat on my channel? <laughs> and liquor and stuff? <laughs> and and um, air fresheners? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> let's have a little and then I got this here email this uh, text there are options for what type of ads they show okay <laughs> Ashley you know more than I do I got this e this text and it says to uh, register for a prepaid uh, a prepaid uh, bell car a card and I don't know if that's a scam or or if it's real <laughs> oh I just dropped the flashlight down here and I can't see I can't see where it went I can't feel where it went where did you go I got it ta -da! I don't even know if it works. Oh. I'm going to have to get off of here because that's... Yeah, I'm not paying attention enough. So, is that real, uh, Ashley? Did you get one, too? To uh, a prepaid... A hundred dollar prepaid... Uh, Bell gift card. Don't trust any texts and don't click the links. I didn't click the link on my phone, but I put it on my computer and it says Bell prepaid card center. Welcome registration code order number continue. I don't know. Yeah, that's scary. Contact us. Would you like to talk to him, speak to a member of our team? Well, I could do that. And ask them if it's real. Couldn't I? I don't know. Ugh. All right, you guys. Oh, my goodness. It's 25 to 3. Don't continue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I don't usually even contemplate it because that's the only way to know is call the real company and ask. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I, how come you didn't get one, Ashley, if I got one? If it's a bell thing, giving everybody a hundred dollars because of whatever i don't know why actually you already got la uh, 20 something minutes hi missy hi missy hi missy <laughs> she looks like a caterpillar good grief i'm going to be Banned from YouTube.
Are we going to be banned from YouTube? Even if I do get, like, people that get monetized and they have over a thousand, they only get pennies. They only get pennies. They, like, maybe get $20 every three months. Which, that would be $20 that I didn't have before, but anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm going to say see ya in the... In the next one, I might have three hours and 13 minutes. Patty. That's not a very becoming <laughs> angle either. Don't look at that clock up there, you guys. It needs a battery. <laughs> oh, here's my little, uh, my little doggies. Oh, aren't they cute? They're little Dalmatians. Look. Richard's mom gave them to me for Christmas. <laughs> if I ever did one in the dark. See you, Linda. Thanks for stopping in. Chatting with us. See you next time. Lord willing. See you, Ashley. See you, whoever else is here. It looks like four people. Totally do.